Hey guys, Hackerman Gal Level here. And in this video, I'm not only gonna show you how to download your own VODs, I'm also gonna show you how to download anyone else's VOD with their permission, of course. I'm also gonna show you how easy it is to actually create a time lapse video in order to promote your live stream on social media. Now I know this is a very, very niche type of video. I don't expect it to get a lot of views, but basically any artist, any live stream where you're creating something and you're showing the process can be made into a time-lapse video that can be shared on social media. When it comes to shareable content, it turns out that time-lapse art is one of the most shared videos out there. So it's a huge opportunity to bring a lot of traffic to your live streams. It breaks my heart every time I see an artist on Twitch or a body painter, a makeup artist, not create time-lapse videos for their art from their live streams. But anyways, let's get right to it. Let's start with the basics. How to download your own VODs on Twitch.tv. You're gonna go top right, click on your face, your profile picture basically, and then click a video producer. Once you're in there, you will see a list of all your past broadcasts, your uploads, and your highlights. Simply click on the three dots near a VOD, and then click the download button. It might take a couple of minutes, but eventually it will download your VOD. That's how you download your own VODs. Now, there are many ways to download any other VOD with permission, but my favorite is a little program called Twitch Leecher. It's made by Frainiac, and if you type Twitch Leecher in Google, you will find this GitHub link. We're gonna go ahead and download the latest version right there, 1.8. For me, it might be different for you, depending on when you watch this. Once it's done downloading, click on it and install it. Once you're done, you have to go find it wherever you installed it. For me, it's right there, and then double click on it. Boom, so now you have Twitch Leecher 1.8. On top, you'll see search, we're gonna click on search, and then we're gonna click URL. Basically, we're gonna input a URL from a VOD and it will hopefully find it. So let's go find our URL. In this case, one of my best friends, Viking Trash, made a orc makeup. I think it's really great and that would be cool to have an actual video showing it off. So you're gonna go to the channel, click on videos, find the VOD and copy the link. We're gonna go back to Twitch Leecher and paste the link and then click search. Now it's gonna find the VOD. We're gonna click on it. <laughs> no, if you click on it, it actually opens it. <laughs> we're gonna go back to Twitch Leecher. We're gonna click download. Now it's gonna ask you for the quality, where you want to download it, the file name, but also it lets you trim the video, which is great because the whole VOD is six hours long, but the makeup only took three hours. So we're gonna input three hours. We're gonna hit that end box and type three, let's say 330. Here you can set the quality, but we're gonna keep it at source, so the max quality. I don't really care about the file name, I'm gonna click download. And now it's been added to a download queue. In order to see what's happening, just click on the download up top. Keep in mind that we are downloading a video that is 720p, 60 FPS, and lasts three hours. So it's a pretty big file. It's gonna take a while, especially since I don't have the best internet. I'll see you back when it's when it's done. Okay, it's finally done downloading. It actually took two hours. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring it into Adobe Premiere. I'm showing it with Adobe Premiere, but technically any editing software that allows you to speed up a clip can do the same thing. So let's not focus on the software. Let's focus on the technique and how easy it is. Okay, so here's my project. I'm just gonna go ahead and find the folder where I downloaded the VOD. So as you can see, it's right there. I'm gonna drag and drop this into my project. I'm gonna wait for it to import. Now this might be different depending on the software you're using, but Adobe Premiere allows you to look at your footage before putting it into your timeline. So right now we're actually looking for two clips. Our whole thing is gonna comprise of two clips. We want one clip of the whole makeup process and then one clip that will be basically the final clip showing, revealing the final makeup. So try to keep up because I'm trying to show you that it's fast and I don't wanna over explain anything. So right now I'm just gonna scroll until the end of the makeup or towards Towards the end at least okay so it's around here and I'm gonna set my out point that means that's where I want it to stop and then now I can drag it actually I'm just gonna drag the video because we don't care about sound if I really don't want that specific part in the middle I could have I could have gone and you know set my end point here and point here or you can press I on your keyboard so let's delete that and actually import that there we go. And now the second part, you know, when the makeup is done, 
and you can see she's taking pictures that means that she's pretty much going to be posing you see where the overlays are off that is specifically made for that purpose so i'm gonna click play and then stop and then here i can put my out point okay now before we import this we're actually gonna speed up the first clip that we have because right now our timeline is three hours long so i'm gonna right click on this click speed duration and we're gonna add numbers until we see that final speed so right now it's two hours 55 minutes i'm gonna add a zero so it's gonna be like a thousand times that brings it to 17 seconds uh, 17 minutes we don't want 17 minutes let's add another zero and now it brings it down to one minute 44 seconds to be honest i try to keep everything under one minute because instagram only allows you to import one minute videos so for that restriction i might go and cut some parts but other than that you're supposed to be good to go turns out that's also the maximum that adobe will allow me to do so click ok and now you have a one minute thing now you can import that last part right there boom boom it's not gonna play at a normal speed but uh, if we go back press press play we can kind of see how it goes okay and then towards the end um this this is the clip that's going to be playing right there perfect now technically i could export it like that all i would have to do is add music so i'm going to find a non-copyright song and then i'm going to add it we're going to drag and drop this and in order to be completely final i'm going to cut a little bit of the beginning where there's no visible makeup go around here and then we're going to cut the sound to make it match boom now those are like the final steps technically i could export it right now and it would be fine but i'm gonna fade out the sound i'm going to fade in the video i'm gonna add a little transition i like doing a white transition in between the two clips basically after the time lapse to the normal video i like a dip to white so it's a transition it goes white it goes like that and then boom you can even make it like um you can even make that clip play in slow-mo to give more of an effect, but you should be completely fine right there. And that's it. That's it. You're, you're pretty much done. All you have to do now is export it. Um, in Adobe Premiere, I can click Control M, uh, pick where I want it to be. And then with the H.264 preset, I can just export it. And then when it's exported, well, it will be done, basically. And that's pretty much all there is to it, okay? It's pretty simple. Download your VOD, slide it into your editing software, cut it only once, basically separate the process plus the final product, and then you're good. Just slap a song in there, and then boom, share on social media and bring some traffic. If you guys like this video, or if you have any comments or any questions about editing and stuff like that, let me know in the comment section below. Definitely thank you for Viking Trash for allowing me to use her VOD as an example, uh, definitely go check her out. She does awesome uh, makeup. She plays Elder Scrolls online on Twitch. So it's twitch.tv slash Viking Trash. And I often hang out there. So if you want to catch me off stream, that's where I'm at usually. But yeah, hopefully this video will be helpful. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. Guy level out.